Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've also mm. seen the, uh, the there's people coming out talking about uh, the idea that this is not, uh, it's, it's actually an exosome. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Kaufman's work, he points to exosomes are small endosomes derived uh, lipid nano, nanoparticles uh, actively secreted by exocytosis in most living cells. Uh, but yeah, but let, let me give you an insight on that just a little bit. Right, yeah. Um, first of all, interesting, they did the Human Genome Project and they, they found out if, if you looked at all the genes in the human body, how many, how many genes make a human? Right. You know, the, uh, let's look at it. A gene is a blueprint to make a body part called a protein. Yep. The cells are built out of protein. So the genes are the blueprints to make the body. Okay. Right. Now I say, well, what percent of my genome is uh, making human body? About 3%. And I say, oh, and here's another number that blows your mind. I say, well, they've also found that between 5 and 8% of our genome makes viral genes. So we have more viral genes in our genome than we have human genes in our genome. Wow. You go, well, why would they do that? And the answer is this. Viruses are the highest form of communication between living organisms, between cells and et cetera. I say, what do you mean? How else can I control your body? I got a nervous system, okay, and I say, yeah, out of 50 trillion cells, only a very small percent are connected to the nervous system, so I can't control 50 trillion cells with a nervous system. And I say, well, how else do I control cells? I say, well, you got hormones. And I go, great. You put them in the blood, <clears throat> they go all over. I go, yeah, now I got a problem. What if I want a specific cell type to reproduce more because I need them, or a specific cell type that I don't want anymore because I'm not, let's say, using that food, I don't need the cell. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the point is this. You can't send, divide, or kill with a hormone, how do you know where the hell it's going to go? The only way to successfully target a cell is with a virus because a virus has a zip code on the surface of that virus that plugs into the specific destination that I'm looking for. So the idea is this, in my 50 trillion cell community, it turns out our cells have more viral genes than human genes. I go, so what? And I say, because these, these genes that are uh, in, our, in our body go into exosomes. Exosomes like, what, what's that? And I say, some means body, exo is out of, uh, bodies coming out of cells. Uh, and for the longest time, a, a large percentage of these bodies are, are for just removing debris from a cell, broken stuff, and the cell throws it out, and macrophages come gobble it up and recycle the material. So most of exosomes are thought to be just digestive things. Then they started to find, no, there's a massive population of very small exosomes that have DNA, RNA, uh, and hormones for the immune system called cytokines. I go, what about those? I go, ah, ha, those aren't destructive. Those are community uh, organizing viruses. So we are making exosomes that control our biology. So the point is this, we make our own viruses. And then all of a sudden I say, yeah, but if you confuse them with outside viruses, inside viruses, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, then it gets very fuzzy. So can we make this ourselves? And the answer is we can make any damn thing. So uh, where's it come from? How's it work? They don't know. Yeah. But they sure as hell have made a program as if they do know. And this is the problem because the data is coming up to reveal, no, they don't know. Um, but they're really forcing us to do things that I, I think are unnatural in regard to vaccinating everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, these, these are expelling of um, exosomes. It uh, it's, it's, it's plays a role in intercellular communication as well, doesn't it? It's actually a natural thing that's actually part of the That's system. exactly, that's its whole function. Right. Specific yeah. intercommunication. Uh, I'll give you a, a good example of the use of an exosome. Yeah. Okay, um, that uh, when uh, a woman is pregnant, her egg and the male sperm come together and I go, ah, but the embryo is genetically different than the mother because it's got different genes than the mother in it. Okay, so different activity. I go, yeah, but the placenta cells invade the mother's uterus, just like cancer, exact same thing. The cells grow from the embryo into the uterus just as a vas an invasive cancer, same thing. I say, well, wait, how, how come the mother's immune system doesn't reject the, the fetus and, and the placenta? Because the placental cells make exosomes 
that are sent to the maternal immune system to redirect the immune system to go away from the fetus. Get it, go away from here because this is private-like area, okay? Now it turns out they also find that cancers do the same thing, that when you have a cancer in your body, you make your own exosomes that organize the immune system to stay away from the cancer, just the same way that uh, the fetal cells tell the, the maternal system, don't, don't mess with this, okay? So we are making these exosomes all the time. They're organizing, as I said, there are three ways to communicate with, with the system, nerves, hormones, and the most effective of specialization are viruses. And you say exosome. I say exosome is what they call them because uh, nobody wanted to take the jump and say, okay, truthfully, these are viruses. Why? By every definition, they're a virus. They carry information targeting a specific cell to take over the genetic activity of that cell when the cell gets infected by these. They're called exosomes. Why? Because they don't want to use the word virus. Mm. But by definition, an exosome that they're talking about is a virus, and viruses are extremely uh, the most specific form of communication that the body has. And, and they're benign, they're natural is what we're saying, right? Uh, excuse me, John, go say with sorry, uh, sorry, Bruce, I was just saying, and they're benign. It's like, it's like friendly viruses that actually aid the body, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a, how do you coordinate 50 trillion citizens? Exactly. You know, there's like local community stuff going on. There's distant community stuff going on. Uh, and, and you have to coordinate it. It's not just a bunch of cells in a sack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all the cells are, are citizens in a community. And, and information is the most important aspect of any community. You deny information, the community falls apart. <laughs>